Okay guys, so I know the multiplayer trailer for Advanced Warfare came out today and I'm super pumped for it. But I know you guys are probably getting slaughtered with videos and info about the game. So I didn't want it to take over today's gaming news. So I'll leave a quick link to the trailer in the description below in case you haven't seen it yet. And let's get into the rest of today's gaming news. Okay guys, and our first news report of the day is about Dead Island 2. Because a brand new gameplay trailer known as Sunshine and Slaughter was released today and it looks incredible. Now I didn't play much of the first Dead Island but I did hear that it was extremely fun to play and after watching this trailer, if the first one was anything like this, then I think I really missed out. I'm actually really into zombie survival games and Dead Island 2 simply looks incredible by the looks of this trailer. And I think I'm definitely going to be picking up this game. Honestly, after watching this trailer, I already cannot wait to play it once it comes out. Anyway, you can check out the full gameplay trailer linked in the description below. And now it's time to get on to our next news piece of the day and Drive Club has announced the special edition of the game. The special edition of Drive Club is going going to include a foil treated unique artwork housed in a high quality card sleeve, instant access to five high performance cars, each with an exclusive livery design, the McLaren P1, the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series, the Ferrari 458 Italia, the Aston Martin V12 Vantage S, and the Alfa Romeo 4C. You're also going to get two exclusive in-game livery packs to customize your car and club logo. And finally, two Drive Club emblem vinyl stickers, which you can stick on your laptop or console or wherever you like. Now, this is currently only confirmed for the European market where it will cost 69.99 euros. Now, nothing official has been confirmed by Sony whether this is actually going to be available for the rest of the world just yet. However, I'm fairly sure it's going to be because it doesn't really make much sense for it not to be available to everyone else. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated as news drops on whether it's going to be available to everyone, not just Europe. And now let's get on to our next news piece of the day. And it's got something to do with something new that could possibly be coming to Steam over the next couple of months. Because interesting things have been found in the Steam database, which indicate that movies and TV series could possibly be coming to Steam pretty soon. Now this would be pretty cool to have and I'm guessing if this does eventually happen It's going to be something similar to Netflix or Hulu and you'll be able to either pay for a monthly subscription Or just be able to pay for movies and TV shows as you watch them However, I'm not too sure how well this is actually going to do because we all know that everyone just torrents movies and TV shows So I'm not actually sure whether people would actually be willing to pay for movies on Steam And I'm not encouraging people to download torrents because I definitely don't do it but it just seems that a lot of people aren't going to do this if they can just download movies and TV shows for free. But then again, a lot of people do use Netflix and this still would be a pretty cool thing to have available on Steam. Anyway, to our final news piece of the day, and it's about Gamescom 2014 and the schedule for all the press conferences happening this week at the convention. Now, Gamescom doesn't actually open up to the public until Thursday. However, between now and then, there are press conferences from Sony, Microsoft, EA, and a Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain event, between now and Thursday. Now, all these times for these events are going to be in US times. However, I will put the equivalent times for Australia on the screen, as well as a countdown timer to each press conference, so you guys know exactly when the event is going to start no matter where you live in the world. Anyway, the Microsoft Media Briefing will be on Tuesday the 12th of August at 5 a.m. Pacific time. The Sony Media Briefing will also be on Tuesday the 12th of August at 10 a.m. Pacific time. The EA Press Conference will be on Wednesday the 13th of August at 1 a.m. Pacific time. And EA is going to be showing off new details for Battlefield Hardline, which I'm really looking forward to, as well as Dragon Age Inquisition and Dawngate info. And finally, the 
Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain event is going to also be on Wednesday, August the 13th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Anyway, all of the links to where you can watch all of the live streams of all of the press conferences will be linked in the description below. And that's going to be it for today's gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You can follow me there if you want to know what's happening with my videos or exactly when the next video is going to be coming out. Or if you just want to know what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Anyway, guys, I've been Piranha Pragel, and stay gaming.